Hold on. Okay, I need to go see what park I want. With a different type of video today over the past couple months i've gotten a lot of requests to show my home studio setup which is just over there so we will be flipping back and forth between talking and that before we start i just want to say i apologize if you see the cats running around because they're in here and they're crazy following that i'm aware that gear is really expensive a lot of equipment is the place that i live in like the country you can write some of that stuff off on your taxes but I am aware that owning gear is a privilege and it's quite hard sometimes for some people to get it. And I'm aware that I'm lucky to be able to afford it. Also on that note, it's taken about three years for me to collect the gear that I have. Lots of saving, all of that kind of stuff, and some help from family and friends. So thank you, <laughs> family and friends. And now we're gonna get into it. I just have like this piece of paper that I have all of the gear that I own on and I can show you how I set it up and whatever. So let's start with, um, So the mic that I standardly use is the Rode NT1. I believe I have the NT1A, which is the anniversary edition, which I'm not sure if it's different than the NT1. Anyway, it was about $300, I believe. I'll link everything down below. I use it for everything right now. I record all my vocals on that. If I'm playing guitar, I record my guitar with that. It's the only mic I own right now. I find that it's like pretty realistic and reflective of the tone that you naturally have. It doesn't make your voice warmer or cooler or grittier or anything like that, which is kind of nice. But in the future, I definitely have my eyes on some better microphones. I have, to record all of my covers, I have a Gitalele. It's essentially a bass ukulele with six strings, so you can play it like a guitar. And I love it, it's really portable, I take it everywhere. I write a lot of my music on it because it's just so easy. And I can write really anywhere with that thing. But yeah, all of the covers that you hear guitar in, I'm playing on my Gitta Lately. Unless you see my guitar. A couple that I did at my parents' house, I had my guitar there. Next, I have a MIDI keyboard. It is the Nectar Impact GX49. It's a 49 key MIDI keyboard. It's very basic. It has like a couple octave shifts on the one side and then a couple transpose buttons to transpose up keys if you need to and then it has two mm, like what is that called two like sliders that allow you to bend pitches it's like not the best keyboard in the world but it was something to get started it's definitely very low end on the on the midi keyboard um in the midi keyboard zone if you will after that i have a focusrite scarlett 2i2 also very basic. I think it was about a hundred. No, oh, no, wait, no, it was like two hundred dollars. It works pretty well. It does what I need. It has a headboard import, headphone import. There we go. I could put monitors in it if I had monitors. It has two inputs. I don't really need more than that. I'm not recording live drums in my bedroom, so yeah. You just have to like boost the gain on your vocals a bit more than others. For headphones, I have the KRK headphones. They are a bit pricier than your like the most basic monitor headphone, but they're definitely not the most expensive monitor headphone out there. I will say about those is that they tend to be not accurate in the bass frequencies all of the time. Sometimes the bass on the headphones is a little quieter than what it actually is in the system. I try to my best to like mix simultaneously on the headphones and I also just have these speakers that I'm borrowing from a friend with like a big sub so I can hear a more realistic version of the thing. I don't recommend mixing on headphones as your only way of mixing if you can help it. Right. Okay. And then the computer that I use is an iMac. It was refurbished. I think it's a 2017, 2016. I bought it last year. It was around 2200, which is like a lot. And I'm aware that it's a lot, but I needed the, the specs of the thing to run all of the programs that I use. Along with that, I bought the student bundle, like the Apple Pro 
applications. I think that was about $300. I was a student at the time, so I was like, sure. I have a one terabyte hard drive that I got for about $100 that I store all of my projects on and a lot of my samples on. And then to edit my YouTube videos, I have Final Cut from the same student bundle. I didn't purchase it separately. If I didn't buy Logic in the student bundle, I probably would be using iMovie to edit my videos. Along with the video making, I'm filming this on a G7X Mark II. I bought it earlier this year when I decided that I wanted to do YouTube. And my phone, I used my phone for like the first couple months, but I found it had this like weird like glitchy autofocusy thing and I was kind of over it. <laughs> and then I had a $30 tripod, but I, I snapped it the other day. I was trying to put my camera on it and it tilts one way, but not the other way. And I thought it was on the way that it tilted and I just like, tilted it and it just snapped and I was like sick so I have no tripod right now I'm filming on my windowsill but yeah that's everything I use to film my YouTube videos and record my covers there's my desk it's a little messy I'm trying not to expose myself I try to find a quieter spot in my room to record the guitar part just a little less live I know right by the desk is fairly okay for vocals but for the guitar I like can't get it comfortably set up with the mic so I usually record that on my couch over here. Oh, my closet was open. On my sofa that's just behind me or on my bed. So I hope this is helpful and I hope that gives you a little more insight in the background of what the heck I do <laughs> on a regular basis. Um, thank you for those who requested this video. I apologize for those who were requesting it early on. I just like, yeah, didn't want to film it super early because it felt kind of like a flex even though I know it's not. But I just didn't want to contribute to anything related to that kind of culture. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. If you made it this far, my name is Denjamin. This is the channel where I upload acoustic covers, original music, and occasionally lifestyle content. If that sounds like something you're into, subscribe down below and give this a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Have a good one. Bye.